Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Bertrand Picard announces first hydrogen-powered round-the-world flight. AMA pleased with FAA Reauthorization Act containing model AC provisions. And Bell demonstrates HSV tall technology. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Bertrand Picard announces first hydrogen-powered round-the-world flight. Swiss explorer Bertrand Picard, the first man to fly nonstop around the world using both a balloon and a solar-powered aircraft, is calling his next journey, hydrogen-powered circumnavigation in 2028. Picard will be working with Climate Impulse, a brand that will support him in his mission to make an around-the-world flight that generates zero harmful emissions. Details on the specifics of its propulsion system are somewhat scant so far, but there's still a few years of prep time to undergo as the group works toward completing its own in-house aircraft. The drafted design is a twin-engine, twin-tail aircraft with a long high-aspect ratio wing and dual T-tails. Two apparent solar panels flank the small crew cell perched between the two long engine pods, likely to defray fuel burn as Picard uses a bevy of electronic gadgets throughout the flight. Climate Impulse says, quote, This historical flight planned in 2028 aims to be a flagship for climate action, showcasing how efficient solutions can set the world on a sustainable course, end quote. And after the break, Joe B to launch Air Taxi in Dubai. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm Barry Knutula, the CEO of King Schools, and you're invited to join me, John and Martha, and everyone at King Schools as we celebrate 50 years of helping pilots like you achieve their aviation goals. Until February 15th, you can save up to $250 on select King Schools courses. Just go to kingschools.com slant 50 years for all the details. But hurry, these savings expire on February 15th. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Joby to launch Air Taxi in Dubai. Joby Aviation has signed an agreement with the Road and Transport Authority of Dubai UAE to launch air taxi services in the region by 2026. The agreement will grant Joby an exclusive service window of six years and comes along with, quote, a variety of support from the authority, including financial mechanisms for entry and maturing of service operations in Dubai, end quote. Joby has a target of early 2026 to begin commercial service. Archer says three test-ready aircraft under construction. The first trio of Archer Midnights is on the way to completion, representing what the company calls its first three conforming aircraft in its long road to wider mass production. The aircraft are already far enough along in the process to eye final assembly in the coming weeks, with parts being collated, machined, and installed at Archer's San Jose, California home. The piloted aircraft will be used in FAA certification testing later this year, moving on towards four credit demonstrations. Axiom 3 mission to ISS concludes safely. The third private astronaut mission to the ISS successfully completed its journey. Axiom Mission 3 and its four crew members safely returned to Earth Friday, splashing down off the coast of Daytona, Florida. 
Axiom Space astronauts Michael Lopez Alegria, Walter Villade, Marcus Wand, and Alper Gezerovci returned to Earth aboard a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft at 8.30 a.m. EST, completing their nearly 22-day mission that included 18 days aboard the space station. Teams aboard SpaceX recovery vessels retrieved the spacecraft and astronauts. U.S. Army Guillotine Scout Hilo Program The U.S. Army has announced the elimination of future attack reconnaissance aircraft, putting to rest a light scout helicopter that was hoped to replace Bell's OH-58 Kiowa. The Future Attack Recon Aircraft Program kick-started development on the Bell 360 Invictus and Sikorsky Raider X. The future long-range assault aircraft program continues, ensuring that the tilt rotor V-280 Valor lives to see another day. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. AMA pleased with FAA Reauthorization Act containing Model AC provisions. The Senate Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation passed the bipartisan Senate FAA Reauthorization Act of 2023. The legislation includes several provisions to strengthen safety standards and oversight at the FAA and responds to safety concerns from recent aviation accidents and near misses. The AMA government affairs team confirmed that AMA's amendment was included in the bill's manager's package, which will ultimately become part of the final Senate bill. Quote, AMA would like to thank Senator Todd Young of Indiana and Senator Dan Sullivan of Alaska for sponsoring the amendment. We want to thank the U.S. Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation for recognizing the need for reform and ultimately including the aforementioned amendment, end quote. Some of the notable changes in the bill include UAS operations permitted up to controlled airspace without FAA authorization, not just at fixed flying sites, a process to request flights into controlled airspace from uncontrolled airspace, CBO designation to self-declare FRIAs, CBOs must be trust administrators, updates educational provision to allow elementary and secondary schools to fly under recreational rules, provides $1 million a year for no before you fly, changes the term sanctioned events to CBO-sponsored operations, uses the word drone in place of UAS, definition remains the same from 2018, and better clarifies large model aircraft operations in Class G airspace. And after these messages, Bell demonstrates HSV Tall technology. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Backcountry flying to us is our playground. For us, it's how we access the things we like to do. It's just our lifestyle. We exclusively use the, the Hartzell Voyager prop, and it's proved to be um, just a great combination for what we do. What it's doing, it's, it's helping us all have better performing airplanes. Man, it feels a lot better clearing trees by 50 feet versus 20 feet. I don't ever see myself not flying. Welcome back. Bell demonstrates HSV Tall technology. Bell recently showcased high speed vertical takeoff and landing technology capabilities upon completion of testing efforts at Holloman Air Force Base. The team has utilized the Holloman high speed test track to demonstrate the folding rotor, integrated propulsion, and flight control technologies at representative flight speeds. Jason Hurst, Executive Vice President Engineering, said, quote, the successful sled test completion is a culmination of Bell's HSV TAL research and unprecedented technology development." End quote. The objective of Bell's sled test operations was to validate key technologies through a full-scale integrated demonstration in a representative operating environment. 
Bell plans for the test article included a series of HSV tall high-speed transition maneuvers, a first-of-its-kind capability for vertical lift aircraft. Before delivery at Holloman AFB, Bell successfully completed functional demonstrations at Bell's Flight Research Center. The Sprint program intends to design, build, and fly an X-plane, an experimental aircraft to demonstrate enabling technologies and integrated concepts necessary for a transformational combination of aircraft speed and runway independence for the next generation of air mobility platforms. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.